Hello Aries, this is going to be your mid-month love and sex reading for January. This is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate, check your rising moon and Venus signs, like I say every single time. This will be for you and whoever you still feel connected to in some way. So let's see what's going on in their energy. In the present moment, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is somebody who's moving very, very slowly. They want to bring you something solid, um, but it's very slow moving. It's kind of moving at a snail's pace. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here. In the recent past, let's see what they've been up to. Four of Wands reverse. So there could have been some sort of break or pause in this partnership or relationship. Um, you know, this is a lack of union, lack of coming together. And as a result, it can make someone very unhappy. Okay. In the near future, we have the High Priestess, Pisces energy. This is also about listening to your intuition. Harboring secrets, though. Secret emotions. Okay, so this person does have emotion for you, for sure. They're trying to follow their intuition, I think, and come towards you, but it's moving very slowly. Potential outcome. We have the three of pentacles reversed. So, you know, this, for some of you, you may work with this person. For others, it's really just about, you know, difficulties coming together. I think it's really more and building something. I think I'm getting like distance here for a lot of you. So there could be some sort of difficulty in coming together with this person just because of the circumstances right now. So let's just um, get a little more information here. I'm going to clarify this with my, my deck. So why is the uh, Knight of Pentacles here in the present energy? Why is this person moving so slow? What's going on? The hangman reversed. Yeah, this person wants to get off the... They don't want to wait around anymore. They want to make moves, right? Pisces energy. But again, it's, they're, they're having difficulties doing it. There's some sort of obstacle here or it's just moving so slow. Let's see why. Why I'm going to clarify the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Two of pentacles. Yeah, because they were trying to make a choice. They were trying to make a choice. Okay. So that's what the, that's what the delay has been. They were having difficulty making a choice. But they've made this choice now to make a move. However, it's just like they're just slowly making their way back to you. Okay. Why is the Four of Wands here in the past? Eight of Swords. So this person was trapped in their own thoughts, right? They had blinders on. It's like they were in an alternate reality here. The, like the, whatever's going on in their head. They were creating their own virtual reality, right? Their own version of events. So that's what kept them, you know, blocked, so to speak. And it could have caused this strain or this pause or this separation of sorts when it comes to this reu this union. It's really all this person's thoughts, though, that has been causing the issue. So let's see. In the near future, we have the High Priestess. What's this about? Three of Wands. Yep. Distance. Somebody is at a distance here, okay? Physical distance or emotional distance. But somebody's at a distance. They're waiting to see what happens and that is why things are so slow it's coming out right underneath this in the same line of cards with the the knight of wand the knight of pentacles which is super slow moving right so they're trying to follow their intuition but i think they're waiting to see what their intuition tells them they're waiting for their ships to come in who's going to make a move right we have another 3 here and 3 and 3 is 6 which the six is the lovers so it's like when i get two threes in the minor arcana minor or when i get two different numbers in the minor arcana that i add up to the major arcana corresponding card you know these are the factors that are affecting that total number which is the lovers okay so there's there's a waiting period there's a distance this is someone who's kind of trying, like waffling, trying to figure out what to do here, moving at a very slow pace. And then we also have this other three of pentacles, right? Which is a lack of being able to come together, a lack of being able to work together. So let's see why this is here. These are the factors that are, you know, affecting the partnership, so to speak. 
Six of Swords, yeah. Because somebody's unable to come towards you physically. Six of Swords is someone at a distance coming towards you. When it's reversed, they can't come towards you. Again, distance. I'm getting a lot of you, this is because of like a, a circumstance. Um, you know, it's not necessarily you. It's just like something is keeping the two of you apart and separated right now. Maybe you live in different states. Maybe someone's on in quarantine. Maybe, you know, whatever it is, there is a physical distance between the two of you that's not letting you two come together. Okay. So let's get some uh, messages for you. Let's see what's going on in your energy here. What's coming into the present moment for Aries? You're the Queen of Wands. This is Aries energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or Leo. But this is, you know, you may not be feeling like this person wants to come towards you. You may not be feeling very attractive, not magnetic. It could be making you very angry, <laughs> frustrated. The Queen of Wands reversed is someone who can be very reactive and they like take things personally. They don't feel like this person, like magnetic, right? They can't manifest things. Um, but they don't feel like anybody wants them sometimes because of the circumstances and they take it to, they take it personally and they act out, um, sometimes in anger. Okay. So it has, it has nothing to do with you, but if this is what you're feeling right now, this could definitely, you know, apply to you. Like just being frustrated with the situation here, okay. but it has nothing to do with you. It's not about like what you look like, your worth, your value. It's really just the circumstances. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Cups. So I think that there is, you know, some type of relationship here. Definitely, you have a lot of love to give, right? Very intuitive, very creative, um, psychic energy here. This is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But this is somebody who draws in. They are magnetic, okay? So in the past, it's like when we transition from this card to this card and then the present, it's there's a disconnect and it can really throw you off like all this like someone wants you and then all of a sudden the two of you are split and you feel like they don't want you anymore right but that is not the case that is not the case these are just feelings right so what's coming in the near future we have the hermit virgo energy so you could be spending some time by yourself like alone um, not a bad thing, okay, because the hermit has this time, this solitary time to just kind of figure things out, which could be what you, you know, what you're needing right now, right, just to kind of take a pause and take a break from this situation and not focus on, you know, the nuances of why the two of you are not together right at this moment physically. Potential outcome, we have the two of cups. Two people coming together for an equal partnership. This is a, a committed love relationship, but it's equal. It's balanced. Okay, this is um, like soulmate energy, twin flame, whatever you, whatever, right? Who fucking cares? Let's not put a label on it because I'm tired of the labels because <laughs> I feel like labels keep people stuck. So let's just say this is a soul connection, okay? But this is something where the two of you are going to be on the same playing field. It's going to be balanced. So this is coming in the future, okay? But beforehand, we do have you know, this period where we may feel like we have to spend some time just kind of figuring things out, right? So let's clarify these. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed? We have the Tower. Yeah, so this is Scorpio energy. So you may feel like things are falling apart. Like, you know, something happened here, maybe it's your fault, it's not your fault, okay? But it's almost like things are crumbling down but the tower is something where it's like things need to crumble to build something bigger, better in the future. Okay, it's just building a new foundation. That's all the tower is. It's rebuilding. But the, the current foundations are not strong. So why is the Queen of Cups here in the past energy? What's the Queen of Cups about? Two of Wands. This is about choices. What do we focus on? So you may have focused on this particular person, this particular situation. Um, again, distance, wands are like the two of wands for me is distance, but it's about focus. What are we focusing on? So maybe you focused on this, you know, um, but it's again, it's about making some sort of choice and maybe that was your choice, right? So in the near future, these are all flying out. Hold on. Let's see why the hermit is here. Why is the hermit here in the near future? 
and the near future can mean like tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now. You know, we don't know what the time frame is, what the timeline is. We have the commander of pentacles. This is the king of pentacles, okay? So this is what it's telling you. This is Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy. This is somebody who's going and spending some time apart so that they can get their shit together. They're, the king of pentacles has their shit together, okay? They've got themselves financially stable. They're grounded. They're, you know, they've got their shit together for the long haul. So this is what's needed, right? This period of like not being with this person or just taking a pause, it's really getting put in place because the major kind of, you can't help it. These are, these are things set in place by the universe. You can't help it. The reason it's putting this situation here on your doorstep and kind of forcing you to take this pause is because it's about getting grounded. It's about finding stability, getting, you know, financial stability, focusing on you, focusing on prosperity, focusing on your own life. Okay. That's why it's being, that's why it's all happening. What's the um, two of cups here for? Is this about? The engineer of pentacles. This is the, um, the knight. <laughs> Sorry, I made this deck. You think I would know? So this is the knight of pentacles. Okay. So the end of the end, the knight of pentacles is slow moving. So it just really just is saying that. Yes, we are going to have this union, okay? We're going to have this per like this amazing partnership with this person, but it's going to take a little bit of time because the Knight of Pentacles moves a little slowly. So in that time frame, right, we're going to be focusing on us, getting our shit together, and really just getting stabilized, okay? And then this is what's coming, right? So this is not a bad outcome at all. This is actually a great outcome. It's just telling you what needs to be done in order to get to that outcome, all right? So, what I'm going to do now is just get some cards that, for both sides, okay, so they're going to be themes that we're going to be seeing, things that need to be worked on, things that need to be meditated on for both parties here, all right? So, the person that Aries is thinking about, what do they need to work on? What's coming up for them? We have self-expression, flexibility within structure. So this is someone who needs to learn how to express themselves better. Okay, maybe they're very rigid in their belief system. Maybe they are very set in their ways. Okay, so they need to learn flexibility, how to be more open-minded, open to different ways of doing things really that are not within their template, within their paradigm, like whatever it is, right? And they need to be able to learn to express themselves a little bit better. So these are themes that are coming up for them. Let's see some themes that are coming up for you. We have nurturance and self-care. Mm -hmm. Complete and move on. So we have to just spend this time, just like the, the cards are saying, about you know giving our own self-care. Nurturing ourselves, okay? So that we can complete the cycle and move forward. We don't want to keep continuing a cycle, right? So let's get some uh, shadows, see what this person is denying. Let's see what they're denying. These are just little blocks that are, that may be kind of standing in the way. On the fence, someone is unable to make a decision. Okay, so they're not allowing themselves to make a clear decision yet. Okay, because again, they don't have the flexibility to go to see outside of the frame. They like step outside of the frame and see the whole picture. So they're very rigid. They're not allowing themselves to make a solid choice yet. That's the reason. Get another one. Irresponsible, reckless. Un irresponsible, unreliable, reckless, and careless. So they may not see this aspect about themselves, that they've treated you maybe carelessly, that they're, you know, they're just not reliable, okay, in some way. They're not allowing themselves to see this about them, their own shadow. And as a result, when we don't see the shadow, we just keep doing it, <laughs> right? So let's get another one. 
true love, this is the one. Okay, so they're denying this. They're den they know that this is, you know, true love. Okay, but they're denying that right now because, again, they're being inflexible. They're not, they're on the fence. They're, you know, acting careless because they're just unable to make their own decisions right now. Now you have intention. Someone has ulterior motive. So one of the reasons that they're on the fence about making a decision, they may think that there's some sort of ulterior motive here. Maybe they think you want to like lock them down, you know, or like make them commit to something they're not ready to commit to. Like you have ulterior motive, something like that. So deep down, you know, they're obviously denying that, but they don't want to get into something where, you know, they're not ready to get into when it comes to like a strong, solid commitment. And that's something that's holding them back here. That's it. These are fears. These are fears of theirs. So it's like, if I get into this relationship, am I going to lose my identity? That kind of stupid shit, right? It's like a phobia. So let's get some of your shout outs. We have mindfulness. Pay attention to your thoughts. So, you know, you may not be... Um, you may be operating on autopilot a little bit when it comes to how you're thinking about the situation, which means you're not being pra practicing mindfulness all the time, which is hard. <laughs> okay. Um, but like maybe you'll six for an example, it's like someone's not talking to you. So immediately we think it must be me. Maybe we did something or, you know, this person is a piece of shit. That's not being mindfulness. That's like, that's not being mindful. That's not paying attention to your thoughts because what you're telling yourself, what you're thinking, you're creating this narrative that may not be true, the real narrative, right? But obviously it's not, right? So it's telling you to be mindful. Don't deny yourself, you know, mindfulness with your thoughts. Then we have children. There are children involved in this situation. Not everyone's going to have children involved in their situation, okay? This also means that someone's acting literally like a child, Okay, so, you know, for those of you that may have children involved here, this is a factor where we're trying to just, like, downplay it, okay? Maybe you have children, and one of the reasons that they don't want to get involved is because they think that they're going to be having to, you know, deal with children. Who knows, okay? Everyone's got a different situation. But if that's the case, right, it's like we're not, you know, maybe this is a fear of ours. Like, that's why they don't want to be with you. Okay, or maybe we just, you know, we're not paying attention to the fact that this other person is acting like a goddamn child. <laughs> okay. But again, we have to be mindful. We have to also be mindful and be like, okay, if they're acting like a child, they're acting like a child. Not my fucking problem. You can file that one under not your fucking problem. Okay. Then we have acceptance. Receive what comes in without judgment. So this is about not judging what's happening in this present moment. Okay? It is. It just is. There's no good. There's no bad. It just is. And we can't judge it because when we judge it, then pff, reinforces the belief. And that's what we keep on getting, right? So we, we've got to kind of change our mindset here. Then we have spiritual connection, a higher level of love. So, you know, some of you may be like, okay, well, this is not, this person's a piece of shit. You know, let's deny this connection altogether, right? But that's for some of you, not all of you. But I think that you know deep down there is a spiritual connection here. And, you know, we may be not facing that truth, <laughs> right? So let's get some messages from this person. See how they're feeling about you. What do they want to tell you? What do they want to tell you? Okay. Brace yourself. <laughs> impact is coming. So they're on their way. <laughs> okay. There will be impact. The two of you will come together. So brace yourself. You're not going to expect it. And it's going to kind of shake you, your foundations a little bit. It's not going to come when you, it's going to come when you least expect it. So it's going to, you know, this means that there is an impact. It's on the way. They're planning it. And again, it's, I think because things are moving very slowly, you're just like, nah, it'll never happen. Oh, it's going to happen. Yep, you will have a new beginning. 
So there will be a new start here. Again, you had that two of cups in the outcome. There will be a new beginning and it's going to be a much better situation this time. Then we have, I create bar barriers to protect myself. So yeah, they're just protecting themselves for because they have fears. That's why they're not letting you in. All right, they're creating barriers for self-preservation, self self-protection, because they're afraid of something. I, have, I miss the warmth and light you radiate. So they do miss you, okay, right? Because we have here on this side, we have, we'll have a new beginning. So that's going to ultimately win out and bring them back towards you, okay? So let's get some sexual messages real quick. Let's see what else is going on. Let's see how they're feeling about you sexually. And again, I never read these reverse, so. So this is about a new beginning. This is the full card. Pisces energy, or Aries energy, I'm sorry. The full is Aries, I think, pretty much. I'm pretty sure it's Aries. Um, this is about starting off on a new adventure, right? Starting over, leaving the past baggage behind. You know what's in here? His past lives. It's not baggage, baggage, right? This is his past lives. This is the only thing he's bringing into this new situation. And that you know, with the two of cups, it is a soulmate connection, a past life connection. So yeah, they're on their way back to you. Okay. They're going to start over with you. I'm having, we'll have a new beginning, right? But it just, it's going to take a little bit of time that they are on their way back and it will be when you least expect it. What else do we have here? Queen of cups, Scorpio cancer, Pisces energy, somebody with a lot of love to give. This is someone who finds warmth and comfort in you, okay? They may really like your breasts, <laughs> but this is somebody who comes to you, right, for comfort, you know, when they, especially, like, emotional comfort. So this is how they view you. They see you as someone who's warm, inviting, okay, nurturing. Three of Pentacles. This is coming together, forming a union. Right? They want to work with you. They want to, like, have this solid foundation with you. See how they're just sort of, like, see he's picking her up. This is someone who wants to lift you up. Okay? They want to, like, they want to have you in their arms. Now, again, just going to take a little bit of time. But this is, you see on the side that it's on. It's on the new beginning side, Right? I miss the way you're, you know, I miss your warmth that you radiate. So it's just going to take a little bit of time, I think. Let's get one more card. Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is of someone who's single, okay? Currently single. Um, or just feeling really good, right? The way I always interpret this card, though, in this deck... It's like he's literally, hold on, this fell on the floor. He's literally cutting a piece of her hair. Okay? He's cutting a piece of her hair because he's, like, obsessed. So for me, I kind of always get this as an obsession card. Like, why the, f why the fuck are you cutting this girl's hair? Right? Like, they want a piece of you. They want, they're, they have, like, a little obsession with you, I think. Okay? So don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. And I know every reader is always like, they'll come back, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they, they, nine times out of ten they do. You know, like we're not lying when we say that. It's just a matter of you letting go and pulling back energetically so that they can come towards you. That's what is actually going to be dictating the timeline, right? Once you do that and just focus on you and pull the energy away, they feel it, and then they're going to be like, okay, time to move forward with them. So let's get one message for them, what they need to work on, and one message for you. Okay, so we have, there's a solution to every problem. 
So this is somebody who's got some uh, challenges <laughs> in their life right now. And I think that they're trying to find a solution here. Okay. They're, this is what they're looking for. They're trying to figure out a solution to this problem. And it's up to them to figure it out. You can't solve the problem for them. Okay. Let's get one for you. I deserve joy. Yeah. Right? I deserve to be prosperous. I deserve love. I deserve joy. So, you know, it's just about telling yourself that. That no matter what happens here, you deserve this. And this is what you can create on your own. You don't need them to be like giving this to you. You can already have it. Once you embody that and feel that, this person's going to come back. And they're going to create what you believe. That's how it works. It's law of attraction 101. So if this is what you be truly believe and you act as such. Like fake it till you make it. Who, you know, even if you don't truly believe that, force yourself. <laughs> and that's what's going to start happening in your external world. Like as within, so without. Okay, so you, you have to start within to start believing this, that you deserve this and really focusing on you. Okay, and then that's when this person's going to be coming back around. So that's going to be your reading, Aries. I hope that it resonated. If it did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great rest of your evening.